The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Simon. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we playing today? Gizmos. And this is from Simon originally. Now it's Come On. Yeah, it's kind of a, a kind weird of changed it. change there. Yeah. Uh, this is a game that has marbles. Yeah. So I'm going to lose my marbles. We already have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be actually uh, building little engines that are going to activate. We're going to be picking uh, marbles out and we're going to be placing them in little rings and such. Um, so it's kind of a different game. Um, some people have actually kind of compared it to Potion Explosion That's because the marbles, marbles. kind of come out, but it's nothing like that at all. So instead of me just trying to keep rambling here, why don't we just have them check it out? All right. Gizmos is really a pretty easy game. We're each going to have our own uh, player board here. Uh, we have an area for upgrades. We have converters. Okay, so we have four main actions that we're gonna be able to do. We have file, pick, build, and research. Now, when we file, what we're gonna do is we're simply going to take one of the face-up gizmo cards and we're gonna place it in our archive. Now, that simply means that we're just going to put it next to our board and we start with the default of one file. Next we have pick, and there are two different kinds of picks that we can do. So this shows the two different types of picks we have. When you see the hand with the little sphere with the X on there, that means we are going to pick one of the marbles from the dispenser there. And then when you see the one with the uh, question mark and the black bar, that means we're going to pick directly from the back of the dispenser. We don't know what it is, it's a blind pick. Next we have the build action. What that means is we're gonna be able to build a gizmo. Now we can either build one that we have in our archive or we can build one that is in the display. Uh, the only requirement is we have to be able to pay the complete cost to build it. So when we look at these cards here, you'll see that this requires three of the black marbles or the batteries in order to build this. So what we would do is we would take those from our power ring and we would just return them back to the dispenser to pay for that cost. And then we're going to look at the symbol that we have up top here and that will tell us where we're gonna put that in our tableau. In this case, this is a converter. It's gonna convert one of the uh, yellow energy into actually two of the yellow energy. And then also, up in the top right-hand corner, this tells us how many victory points this is gonna be worth at the end of the game. In this case, it's worth three. Finally, the last ability that we can do is research. Now, based on our research value, which we're gonna start at three, we're gonna be able to draw three cards off of any of the uh, three decks that you see there. And we are going to keep one, and then we are gonna put the other two on the bottom of that deck. Now, the other thing we can do when we do the research is we can either build uh, that gizmo or we can file it. Now, really the crux of the game is we are going to be doing combos. Now, whenever we have uh, abilities that are going to trigger other ones. So in this case, whenever we take the pick action and we actually pick a yellow energy, uh, then we're going to be able to get uh, this action here. And as we're building these out, we're going to have a bunch of these. And that'll make a lot of sense when we actually have our playthrough. We're each going to start off with one gizmo already. That's this file one. We actually have a workbench here. And that will go under our uh, file area. I do want to point out that uh, my bar has brown. Megan's bar has gray. Well, any other bar. Any other gray. bar other than this. You're special. Yes, this means this is the first player's uh, bar, so that just signifies that I am first player. The game is going to end when one of us builds 16 of our gizmos or we have built four of the level threes. So the way you can tell the difference between the level threes, between the levels one and two, is this kind of has a brown, beigey background, and the ones and twos have a gray background. All right, so I think for my first action, I am going to file, okay. and I'm gonna take 
this gizmo and I'll just put that in my archive. Now, because I did the file action, I can do a blind draw nice. out of the dispenser and I get a red, which is good because I picked a red gizmo. Yeah. Um, I am going to file this one. And then since I file, I can take a blind one and it's yellow. So we're gonna put our rings up here so you can see how much energy we have. So we got a lot of power. Uh, I am gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna pick that red and that'll be my uh -huh. turn. Um, I'm gonna pick red. So you'll see how fast these turns actually uh, just go. Just two player. All right, I will build. Yep. So I'm gonna build this one I have. It's gonna cost me two red, it goes back in the dispenser. And that is a pick, so that will go under my pick ability. Pick another red. That one needs four red. I'm gonna pick a blue. Okay. And because I picked either a blue or a black, I get nice. a pick out of the dispenser. And I got a yellow. Take this red. And that's mine. I will draw a black and I will trigger yep. that combo. And I got a red. I got one of each. <laughs> pretty wow. good. Um, I'm gonna build. So I would like to build this one. It's gonna cost me my yellow because that means I can upgrade, I can hold now an extra energy and I can do another um, research or yeah, research. Yep, so you'll be able to draw four cards. But yeah, the biggest uh, improvement there is you're gonna be able to hold now six mm -hmm. energies. It's like a little hamster running that little machine. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pick black. And uh, I cannot hold any more, so yeah. uh, I don't get the benefit there. Yeah. I'm going to pick... Actually, no. I'm going to build with my red. Build this one. It's a converter, so that means I can convert a blue energy into whatever one I want. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and build because yeah. I saw this one here. That's pretty good. And that will give me an upgrade, so now I can hold six energy. Yeah. And I can research... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this blue one. I will build this black one here. And so now I have a couple of, I think I've got every color covered in my pick. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty good there. We'll go ahead and build with this blue. I'll build this one. And then that, when the file triggers, then I can do some stuff. Randomly. Stuff goes ding. It goes, no, it goes ding when there's stuff. Oh, it goes ding when there's stuff. It goes stuff. ding when there's stuff. Okay, I am going to build this one and get my first build one there. Nice. Yeah, that one's not bad for the pick, so I'll build hay with that red one. Put that there. So then if I pick yellow, I can draw random. Well, I'm not really wild about any of those. I know. Not the best. Uh, I see. That's kind of where you have to look for like trying to set up combos. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a black, and because I picked a black, I get to draw one in here. There you go. And I picked another black. Pretty good. Um. I'm gonna pick a yellow. And since I did that, I can pick a random. Chose a red. Uh, I will pick a black, and because of that, I get to pick one right here. So you can see these. Th there's various ways that you can increase the amount of energy that you're mm -hmm. pulling. Um, I'll go ahead and pick a yellow, and then since I picked a yellow, I can grab a random, which was a black one. All right, I will build, and I'm going to build that one for two yellow now. Yeah. I do have the, uh, the build combo here. It says if I build a yellow, I actually do get to pick um, any color from there. And I, well, I think I'll take that blue. Okay. Um, and my converter that I picked is I can change any red into any one. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that red one. That's where I'm at my max now to hold. So I can hold six. Okay, uh, I'm gonna 
pick a blue one and I will draw one right here. Mm -hmm. the other one. And you'll notice that the um, victory points at the end of the game are higher mm -hmm. when you go up the different levels. And it will tell you on the cards themselves uh, what kind of the, what the point values go for. Mm -hmm. So like the level ones are all ones, level twos can be twos or three uh, victory points, and the, the level threes can be four to seven victory points. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and build, so I'm going to build this one with the black, that goes in my file. I need a buildy one. A buildy one? A buildy one. Well, like all these files and picks, I need a build get them. Okay, I will, I'm going to build and I'm going to use two blue and I'm going to use my converter to convert this red one basically into a blue and I will build this nice. which That's now good. that allows me to hold eight mm -hmm. in my power ring I can actually have two in my file nice. and I can research, uh, research six mm -hmm. that's a lot that's pretty good I'm going to take this blue uh, I think I'm going to research okay so one of the things I didn't do in setup is I need to remove 20 of the level 3 cards. And those are out of the game that now. It doesn't really change much. Though, well, it does make least. that deck it makes quite it smaller, thin, but so like I was three, the only one to take four, one five, so far. Six. So I'm going to, whoops, take six of those. It does make it a bit different. And I will file that one and put the rest of these Ooh. on the bottom. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. So that can be anything. It's a generic gizmo, which may be built by spending any combination of any energy type. And then when built, the generic gizmo counts as a gizmo of all types for triggering build effects. All right, um, I am going to build, but I'm gonna convert this blue into a red, so then I would have technically four reds which will build this converter so I can make any one into any other color. Let me say, turn this blue. I was thinking, turn this fat rat. <laughs> turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Yeah, something like that. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick a black and because I did that, I'm going to pick another one randomly and I picked a red. Nice. Which actually is pretty good because I have that converter. Mm -hmm. I think I want to research, so I can do four research. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to research that one. And then these go on the bottom. That's that. Alright, I will pick another black and let's see two four six so i can pick another one oh, it's kind of black wow okay. i'm gonna pick a yellow and since i picked a yellow i can grab a random which was a black right. i will build this one and Oops. i can use any color so there is seven you right ended there. up with like all, all right. black two four six seven yeah so let's go back there this is gonna go over here yeah um and because I this counts as a as any color, so since I built a yellow, I can mm -hmm. pick a new color. So I'm going to pick a red. Nice. Oh, well, I'm going to pick a yellow. And then since I picked oh, a yellow, I should also. Oh, oh. No. no, no, I did it right. You did. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Sure. All right. I was going to picky. That one. I get it. Picky. Wow. All right. I'm going to pick a red oh, here, that and I get to pull it from here and I pull. It. All right, and I'm going to. Ah, I'm not gonna pick the yellow. Oh no, I'm at my max. Um, so I guess I will build black one. Um, I'll do this one so when I pick a blue, I can do that. I will pick this red and pull. I thought you were gonna hate oh. pick for a second. Hate pick. Oh, I want that. There you go. Um, and actually, I'm at my max, so I can't even draw for the other I one. Can't even. Can't even. So I'm at. Two. Five, but I can hold eight, so I'm gonna pick this red. And nice. because I picked the red, I get to pick another one. Nice. I picked another one. All right, so now I have I Darth Maul colors. Do, do. So I can actually do a buildy one. So I can build with a six yellow, 
so if I build a blue or a black, I can actually perform a build action. So if I perform a build action, then I can build a level one gizmo without paying its cost. So just a freebie. All right. I will pick this red, uh, but I am now at my max two, four, six, eight. Mm -hmm. So I can't do my bonus. Yeah. Um, I can pick a blue. I'm going to pick the blue. Pick random, which was yellow. Okay. I am going to build uh, this one. That. Build that nice. One. And it's me a little bonus there. So okay. if I build a gizmo for my archive, I get two. Okay. okay, I'm gonna pick a blue. And then since I picked a blue, grab a random. Choose the yellow. Okay. Uh, I am just going to file. I'm gonna do this. Now since I filed, I do get to pick a random. Yep. And I picked another black. Nice. Um Pick a blue, and since I did that, I can grab a random. Got a red. Okay, I will build this one from my archive. It cost me three black, um, and that is a converter. That's pretty good. But when I can, when I build from my archive, I get two victory points, and those are oh. these little tokens. So. I feel like you're because here. I need that with um, yeah. my wild one. It's pretty good. Um, I'm in max holding. So, I'm just going to go ahead and build with that red one, build this, and that's if I build a black, I can pick uh, one. Okay. I'm going to file this, and since I filed, I get to pick out of the dispenser and build another you're black. Doing. You see it, all right. I see it, unfortunately. Oh, I see. Pick this yellow, and I'm at my max, so I cannot grab an extra one since I would be able to grab a random. Okay, I'm gonna pick a black, and because I picked a black, pick a random, and I got a red. Yep. All right, I'm going to build. I have three yellows. Build this one so I can turn one blue into two blues. Okay, just a quick update on where we are at. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, so I'm going to build this one from my archive. That'll cost me three black. That goes over there, and that will trigger. Mm -hmm. um, it actually triggers this, and I'll get yeah. two more victory points. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, I'm going to pick this blue one, and it says I pick blue. Grab a random, which is yellow. I think I'll file this one. And because I filed, I pick one from there. Are you trying to trigger end of game? No, I'm trying to get more victory points so I can make that worth more. All right. I mean, I did pay seven for it. You did, yes, you did. All right, so I'm going to build, and I'm going to use this converter, which says this can make one blue into two. So then two, three, four, five. How many is that for you? Um, How many level threes? That is three level threes for One, me. One, two, three, and I have. You have three. I have two. two. I haven't yeah, built I haven't built it yet. Because that's actually going to cost me six blue, so mm -hmm. I will pick a blue, and when I pick the blue, I just pick here, and I yep. got a black. That's not... Oh well, I built a blue. Technically, I should have been able to grab a level one for free. I did not do that. Yeah, though. go ahead. Um, I'm gonna do We're that. friendly. Friendly, you're feeling generous to me. Nice. No, because you usually beat me at this game, so I shouldn't I be helping you. I like this game a lot, though. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the red, and then since I picked the red, I can grab a random. Got a blue. Oh, there's another uh, special. Yeah. I'm gonna pick this blue, and it's the special. Pick here. It's the special. It's a special. That is not the. The marble you were looking for. I am going to build this one. No, I don't want to build that one actually. I'm actually going to use this converter and it can make a random into like any. So I'm going to say this is black now. So I can build this. 
And then since I built a black one, I can grab a level one for free. So I'll take that one. And then I can also pick one from here. And I'll pick the yellow. There we go. Well, I think I'll pick a yellow. I have 15. I agree. And I have one from here. <laughs> I think you've got the points, though. I don't know. You're pretty good there. Well, just since I've got 15, let's make it 16. There's that blue to build. And I will build that one. And then since I built a blue, technically I could grab another one. Level one. So, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Nope. But I'll grab it anyway, just so I can have it. So Say I finish my turn. So, uh, since I was the first player, that does Equal trigger the end of the game. So we're going to tally up the score and find out who gets the marble trophy. Okay, as you can see, uh, Megan gets the trophy because we actually tied. We each had mm -hmm. 30 points. But in the case of a tie, the tied player with the most gizmos in their active gizmo area wins. So that helped that I completed my last turn and got then 17 gizmos built. Well, how many did I have? I had four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I only had eleven. Really? Yeah, I didn't I have any. You would have had more. You did. But have I had a level three to help you. But yeah, I had. Well. And then you had bonus points. Well, I got four points there. I got that was worth four points. I got one over here for five. Most of them are. I got a lot of threes. You had point generators there. Yeah. yeah. All, yeah. Right, all right. So now let's get to what we think. All right, Megan, since you won, I'll let you go first. I really like this game. I think it's super cool. Um, I liked it pretty much since we opened it up. I just thought this was really cool. I like, cause I Even like though it. it is kind of precarious. It's, yeah. You'll, you'll notice this front part here is a little oh, wonky. It's a um, it still And works. you do have to uh, be very careful because when this comes off, the marbles will go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and so I've done that. And you have to store, you take this off, and it actually stores under the insert, mm -hmm. and then there's a special molded piece for that. Yeah, but super cool though. I like this. I like, like, blind bag grabbing, and I like how it dispenses. I think that's super cool. I like the fact this game is pretty easy, and for two players it goes really quickly, um, because then you kind of have to work with strategizing with how you want to set up those combos. And then you maybe you're trying to go more for the level threes to trigger that end of game or just get more points that way. So I like that there's a couple different ways you can think about it um, going into playing this game. I really like the components. I think all the artwork's really cool on like each little individual gizmo. And they kind of um, correlate with like the energy that is being used, which I think is cool. Um, cause each one, like each of the colors is a different energy. So it's like energy, um, battery, uh, nuclear and I forget the other one was atomic I think oh atomic and heat my bad so I think that's kind of cool they're all individual that way I like the little discs just to hold it um all your little converters I think they're cool they're not actual marble so cause they're yeah. plastic but it's it's whatever I well, still think they're cool and these things are like super thick too so yeah they're not the marble moving. shouldn't fall out of them yeah I don't know I think it's cool I really like this game yeah uh it's a fun little game it's there is a little bit of strategy to it, but you know your action selection is pretty simple. You're only doing four things. It's setting up your engine to do all the combos mm -hmm. is really where the the heart of the game lies. Yeah. Um, and I like that. It, it, I didn't do a very good job. In fact, uh, I've never done a good job at this game. And see, I thought I, you had me at one point because I was like, "Are you getting all these points? You're making these level threes. Yeah, but I don't think I've ever won this game. I know you beat every, beat me every game we've played. I really like the, this game. The uh, the games that I played with with the uh, guys in my lunch group, uh, I've never won there either. So, do you? That like, being said, I do like the game. Do you like it better as a two player, or do you like it with more people? Because I don't feel like it's it's going to change much. It doesn't really. Two. The only thing is uh, when you have more players, you have a tendency to do the archive more, do mm -hmm. the file. Um, just because when you see a card that comes up there, you need to grab it. You can't wait until you've got enough energy in order to build it. You've mm -hmm. got to do that. 
that's really the only thing that I've noticed that's, that is different. Um, that being said, it's a 20 minute game uh, with two players. So, we knocked out. So quick. it does go super fast. Uh, like you said, you know, these are plastic. Um, They're still cool. But they do look like marbles. I think it's uh, cool. Like those little um, uh, air bubbles in there. So, yeah. So those do look pretty neat. Uh, like I said, the dispenser can mm-hmm. be a, a bit wonky at times, but that's because it's kind of big. Yeah. In fact, let me uh, bring that into camera a little bit more there. You can see how big it is and dropping marbles. Yeah. Um, I like the artwork on the cards. There's mm-hmm. some that's really cool. And it's all about, you know, the different kinds. Here, you know, you've got like a heat lamp that you're... Uh, I don't know exactly what it's doing, but then you're, it's it like looks, boiling the the nuclear with well, the blue like nuclear. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they kind of fit. It's thematically. It's cool though. Well, yeah. I mean, and all the artwork, it, it's kind of funky. So, like but, but it does look pretty cool. It looks like a porg. It does kind of look like a porg. Um, but yeah, I think overall this game's super cool. I know you, um, when you were teaching it to me, you even compared it to Splendor, thinking if that's where I liked it. And I honestly haven't played Splendor in so long. I forgot how to play it. Well, so I was like, I think that makes sense. I well, do like way, Splendor, and if, I do like this. If you think of the marbles like chips, yeah, and you're building these like, like the cards in Splendor, mm-hmm. it's. I think if you like Splendor, you're gonna like this. And I'm good at Splendor. Yeah, I'm so good at Splendor, but. Although, didn't the didn't I win the I, game that I, we filmed? I, I don't know. I win the majority. We have to go back and look at that. Let's be real. Every time we get Splendor out, I'm normally winning. But yeah. it's super cool. There's what the insert of the box looks like. Like I said, you're going to take the top part of the dispenser off. You're going to put it actually under here. The dispenser goes there. You've got areas at the top and the bottom that your uh, player boards are going to slide into. And then you've got uh, areas for your cards. So yeah. uh, it's functional. The artwork on the box, I think, is really cool. Yeah. It's attention grabbing, that's for sure. Because, like, right there, you're like, oh, it looks like a cool game. I mean, it is nice and bright. This picture reminds me of Steamworks, a uh, game that we have also have on our channel because mm-hmm. you're connecting different power sources to engines and things like that, which it's an engine-building game it's, it's, where you're building engines. Yeah. And Gizmos is kind of the same way. You're uh, building Gizmos to build more Gizmos. Yeah. So, um, like I said, it's it's a really cool game. Uh, I recommend it. Like I said, I think if you like Splendor, Mm -hmm. you're going to like that. If you like little, basically quick little engine building games, you're going to like this. I recommend it. I think it's super cool. And it might be up in my top five so far game of the year. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You've already mentioned one. We won't won't mention that one here, but you've already mentioned one that's probably in your top five. So, definitely um, highly recommend this. Pick up a copy if you can get the chance. It's really fun. So that is Gizmos from Simon or Come, Come on. on. I'm always going to call him Simon. Simon. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and interact with us.